Hi thee to the ocean city, a journey to the blue depths. Ooh! You know not what this means. You go towards the armor road. What awaits is time's end, death's demise, a temptuous dream to push away the unfathomable dark and bring light to armor road. Oh no, another tree. A stormy adventure begins. Okay. Etrian and Odyssey 3. All right, give me a sec. Uh, I gotta change my options here. Definitely, yeah, I'm, I'm on, yeah, we want, um, borderless, yes, yes, thank you. Okay, uh, Etrian Odyssey 3, I'm just changing my category here on Twitch. All right, cool. Uh, let me see. Movement speed. Fast, auto map, full. Fast. I'll just put it on regular fast for now, and then if I want to make it very fast, I'll do it later. Auto battle confirmation off. Yes. Etrian Odyssey 3. Oh, we're just flying through. All right, for those who enjoy overcoming trials, I am once again a basic bitch. This is the recommended difficulty for the first time players or RPG enthusiasts. Hey, that's me. Perfect. What is my review? Um... I really enjoyed it. It's the kind of game that if I had played Etrian Odyssey as a kid, I probably would have played the shit out of that. I don't have the time now as an adult, but I kind of wish I had these games on my DS whenever I was a kid. The Ocean City Armor Road, far to the south, is said to have ru a ruin leading below the waves. As if tac tacitly admitting, the Senatists ruling over Armor Road have invited explorers to their city. The invitation drew throngs of eager explorers who gathered to traverse the undersea maze. But none of the throngs who came to challenge that maze were strong enough to master it. The impenetrable ruins came to be known as the Yggdrasil Labyrinth, and its legend spread further. You yourself are an explorer who has heard its legend and now sailed to Armor Road to investigate. Your only objective to challenge the labyrinth and win fame and fortune. Your hour is at hand. Let's do it. Whoa! Look at this dude. You're standing in the one and only Explorers Guild in the Ocean City of Armor Road. I am here to supervise all the explorers who find themselves in our fair bug. Here's a little something I give every new guild for signing up. A cross script, a resolve script, an offense script. I have to use the same guild name or else it's like, I don't know, I feel weird. We are the bitches. An odd name. It's a great one. Hey, Sleepy Pole, welcome to the stream! Hmm. <clears throat> Step two is registering explorers in your guild. You'll need to hire a few folks, but it's up to you whether or not you want to become a member too. At the Explorers Guild, you can register explorers and organize your party. Choose your favorite class from the list and form a party of up to five explorers. All right, let's go. Oh, these are like all new classes. Okay, uh, supporting combatants on either line, vigorous attackers of the front line, Defense specialists on either line. Cooperative attackers of the front line. Ninja special attackers who work on either line. Monk healing specialists of either line. Zodiac elemental attackers on the back line. Wildling 
Beastly Summoners of the Backline. Uh, Arbalist, Long Range Attackers of the Backline. Farmer, Exploration Specialists of the Backline. All right, since I know that one of the names is going to be chat, I'm going to do... I'm going to pick a job that I feel like chat would embody really well. I don't know, I feel like you guys are wildlings. <laughs> I don't know, I get wildling vibes from chat. Farmer, hmm. I can see why a farmer would fit. But chat is like a beast. I always imagine Twitch chat to be like a beast. So I feel like Wildling makes more sense for me. All right, which one of these? All right, you guys choose. Portrait one through five, who do you want to represent you? One, two, three, four, or five. They have different colors, too. One, three, five, one. I think I see more threes. It's between one and three. Three, three. I see more threes. I think I see more threes. Okay, we're gonna go three. How did I get all those colors? Oh, I just kept on scrolling. Okay, I'll choose the color, though. Yeah, I think three. Yeah, I think three is a good. Uh, okay, so he could be red or he could be blue. I'm gonna do blue. All right, this is chat. I was gonna do like um. Nah, I'll just leave it at chat. Farmer has a skill specifically devoted to wasting time. <laughs> that is really funny. You want to be the Giga chat? Okay. Giga chat just for you guys. So Wildling is in the back line. I, I feel like I want uh, a, a Zodiac. I also, the only healer you get option wise is a monk. Of course we need a healer. God, these are very different healers. Wow. We're in the back line because we always got your back. Oh my god. I see, I see. I'm leaning toward either this grill, four or five. Chat, four or five, which one? I can't decide. I like both of them. Four. Okay, way more four. Okay. Name for the monk. Hmm. I should have thought of some names before I started stream today. Sigma Chad? Is everybody, is my whole team gonna be just different types of Chad? So 
sorry, there's like something on my desk that's bothering me. Okay. <laughs> what is that name? <laughs> Beth Bacanot? What? Alpha chat? Oh my god. Hmm. Mothman. Mm. Mothman is great. It's not bad. Really? I have a bunch of ideas swimming in my head. I just can't <laughs> can't pick one. Does Giga Moth work? If we have a of a theme with our with our team, like Giga Moth, Giga Chad, Giga Chat, Giga something, Giga something. <clears throat> I know this is the most important part. It's nerve wracking. Like, just Giga- Giga Moth. I don't know if I should capitalize the moth. I will. It makes it sound more, uh, important. Giga Bite. <laughs> I think I- I think I hate it. Alright, so we have a healer, we have a wildling. I'm thinking about getting a zodiac. They're, they have giant bows and cannons. Quite literally, a cannon. Cool. Supporting combatants. Vigorous attackers. The gladiator. Defense specialists. A ninja. Giga wall. <laughs> Call our tank the dono wall. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I, I kind of want a gladiator. I want a gladiator. Oh, underboob. Whoa, damn. The leg armor is so extra. Holy moose glaze. Shit. I, I'm, I'm going for underboob. Uh, uh, Giga... This is canon. <laughs> what if instead of boob, I just did a uh, bob, giga bob? <laughs> it's so dumb. <clears throat> yeah, Final Fantasy 16 does come out soon. So how many streams does that give us? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six. I have six streams to finish Adrian Odyssey 3, which actually we can do. Bob the Builder. Uh, Baba. Power of the Baba. Giga Baba. Giga... Mm. Oh, I can use my fucking keyboard since when, bitch? Oh, that's so much better. I know. <laughs> I didn't even see that. 
I'm gonna say Giga Baba. No, I, I didn't know this. So we have a gladiator, we have a Z Z wildling, we have a monk. I think I'm gonna go Zodiac. Whoa, these designs. Whoa. Holy booba! This guy looks like he's ready to rip someone's throat out. I'm doing this guy. All right, his name is... Giga... I don't know how much I like that. The designs are really cute. Beta Chad? What if I literally just called him Beta, nothing else, just flat? Grootsy, thank you so much for the 32 months. I appreciate it. Thank you. He's just Beta. All right. Now I need another person for my front line, which I only have Gladiator. Uh, we could do... Buccaneer, Hoplite, Ninja. Hmm. Buccaneer. They're descendants of pirates, learn to fight in gangs, supporting each other rather than dueling. Hmm. Yar. Hoplite. Unequaled defense while, uh... I'm thinking Buccaneer. Oh, damn! Damn! More underboob! Sheesh! She like, uh, damn, and she's pointing a gun straight at your face. Dang. <sighs> she is the alpha. Oh god, I forget who's- uh, oh god. Who's my party? Oh. You're the gladiator? Uh, so, okay, Giga Booba, Giga Baba, and Alpha are my front line. Okay. And then Giga Chat is what- oh, the Giga Chat is the wildling. Giga Moth is our healer and beta- this is a terrible- <laughs> I 
thinks I want to die. Looks like you're ready to go! It's about the documents I just gave you. Uh, smart explorers actually read them carefully. If you don't feel like it, just throw them away. But if you hope to go all the way, you'll be ser well served giving them a look. Powerful abilities called limit skills can be used by up to five party members. Limit skills can be learned by obtaining documents with the skill details written in them. Gather various limit skills and use them well to make your time in the labyrinth easier. Limit skills, that's new. Let the waves lull you to sleep. Oh, hello! We have doctors to treat your wounds? Oh my god. Treatment. All right. Who dies first? Oh my god. Oh, jeez. She looks evil. Don't trust this girl. What's this, unfamiliar faces? Let me guess, new explorers lured by the sweet scent of profit. In that case, welcome to Napier's firm. We carry all the weapons, armor, and tools that you'll require. Here at our firm, the customer is God. We'll spare no expense for those who line our coffers. Though, that is confidential on, on you participating in a transaction. No window shoppers, please. Oh. No window shop. Okay, no window shopping. Okay. I can't buy anything. Oh, wait. No, I can. My gladiator can get swole already. Whoa. I can wield a club? Wisdom book. 50. Whoa, 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 whoa. I kind of want to wield the club. I've never wielded a club before. Why not? A fleuret. Ooh. All right, armor. These guys are on my front line, so um, I should probably treat them better. Like this buckler. getting equipment before I go into the labyrinth. Who's a gamer? Me. Me. It's me. I'm the gamer. Okay. I was born ready to play this game. Okay, our monk. Definitely needs defense. We can't have our healer dying. Can you equip chat? No. Chat, you're staying equipmentless. I don't got money anymore. I'm broke. I'm broke! I literally spent all of my money! Your hair is very pink. And I'm not recognizing you people. Are you new explorers? Welcomes to you. This is the Butterfly Bistro and I'm the owner here. Once you finish the mission that the old lady gives all the newbies, I can give you work. Until then, uh, until the then time, have some drinkings and chatting with other p explorers here. Oh, I like drinking. Good. Gather information. 
Travelers new to Armor Road, are you? Many such as you have been asking about the af after the labyrinth lately. I'm Wolfram, a troubadour. I'm wedded my way from the far north all the way this ocean to this ocean city. I've been here a long time. I may have a few words of advice about challenging that place. Oh, there's like a, wait, about the calamity. This ocean city of Armor Road was once a grand capital where science and technology flourished. But around a hundred years ago, the center of Armor Road was suddenly swallowed by the ocean. Afterwards, the rippling waters became tidal waves. The gentle breeze gave way to earthquakes. Armor Road's advanced technology was sunk, which ended diplomatic relations with nearby countries. Albion, thank you so much for the 10 month resub. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It's been a long road to recovery for Armor Road, but even today, it's nowhere near what it once was. Not since the calamity. If you ask anyone here, you'll get nothing but a stony silence. Then again, that's just because no one knows exactly what went on a hundred years ago. It wasn't all bad, mind you. After the calamity, a labyrinth was revealed, drawing explorers here. Though the Senatus has other reasons for gathering explorers, but that tale can wait for now. The princess! Glad you asked. There's the most popular story of the day. I'd appreciate a tip for the telling. Her sobri sobriquet of the porcelain princess comes, with, comes from her pure white shining skin. Her voice is like music from the harps of the goddesses, radiant enough to tame monsters. But even the goddesses wouldn't linger in her presence for having to compete with her face. She is Princess Gutrun. Gut. Gut. Princess Gut. Uh, a lovely goddess of Armor Road in her own right. Her visage is the stuff dreams are made of. Though, mind you, I've never seen her in person. Even successive princess in Armor Road, each successive princess in Armor Road is named Gut. I'll tell you the reason later. It's too plot relevant for right now. I report. Your point of embark. Asian. That's a word. Are you new explorers here in Armor Road? You don't look quite ship shaped to me yet. You'll need permission from the Senatus to go on voyage, so you should seek that out first. Fine. Oh. She's evil. You're outsiders, aren't you? Let me guess. You were drawn here by the rumors of the labyrinth. Then you'd best remember this. You stand in an assembly hall of the Senatus, Armor Road's government. And I am she who wields the Senatus's authority to manage explorers such as yourselves. This is where so-called explorer skill skills are tested to sort the true warriors from the cowards. If you want to be recognized as true Armor Road explorers, accept the mission I issue you now. Official request from the armors from the carrier of mission to the storyline of the mission. Okay. I have to create a map of basement floor one. Let's go. The long and short of it is that you're to draw your own map of the labyrinth's first floor. The guard there will have more details for you. Look to him before you proceed. Ah, oh, but you must have parchment first. Here is the blank map given to explorers. Use it well. Oh, fine. Wait, I'm actually going in? Wait, no. No, I need to save. <laughs> I need to save before I die. <laughs> okay, let's go now. Can't call old people rude? Yeah, I can. Checks out most of the time. Look, it's so pretty here. You step into the unyielding forest known as the Yggdrasil Labyrinth. Though many explorers have lost their lives in its halls, it is surprisingly beautiful. The breathtaking flowers here are enough to make you feel as if you are simply out for a nature walk. But you mustn't let your guard slip, even for a moment. Go forth and explore. 
always remembering that this forest is fundamentally a dangerous place. There's a beautiful waterfall. Oh, different music! Oh god. Everything is very strong. Um, ow. Okay, uh, skills. I don't have any. Do I have... Do they have... Uh, okay. For each level, you gain a skill point. Okay. So you start off with your three. Okay, okay. So, uh, my uh, gladiator... Huh? Common. Oh! Combat study. Listen to the stories of veterans to gain their valuable experience. Experience gain. God, I want to just do that right away. <laughs> Bandage. Uh, recover one ally's HP can be used from the main menu. Okay, gladiator. Uh, endless battle. Learn for glad a skill for gladiators that raises physical attack power. It's a class skill. Mastery skill, uh, prerequisite for sword skills. So yeah, we have break. Flank the enemy and slash them apart at random. Make more effective if it's bound. Rampage violently behind enemy lines, slashing all enemies. Blade rave. Mm, damn. Shit, okay. So that's sword mastery. Right now I'm wielding a club, though. I don't know if I will the whole time, but... Smashes enemy brains. Okay! That's pretty, uh, okay. Recover HP whenever an ally is defeated. Use one turn to increase damage. Stun attack. Wolf Howl. Decrease enemy defense for four turns. Okay. Well, for right now, I'll just get the uh, crushing blow, I guess. All right, and Gladiator's done. Buccaneer. Trickster. Buccaneer skill that recovers TP when using attack skills. So we are wielding a rapier right now, I believe. Not a gun. Uh, a pierce attack that made by blind. Follow up to an ally slash attack. Follow up to an ally strike attack. Follow up for pierce. Pierce attack that may bind the enemy's head. Swashbuckler. Normal attacks may strike multiple times. Oh! That seems really good. Pincushion. Uh, random pierce attacks boosted by the user's agility. Ooh, okay. Fire, ice, volt, gunshot. Piercing attack that fires three bullets at once at one enemy. Eagle eye. Lowers one enemy's physical defense. Uh, limit gauge will increase faster for limit boost. This is good. Raises the encounter rate briefly. Raises it? Bitch, why? I guess if you want to grind, but you could just also walk. Just 
just walk for him. <laughs> All right. Monk! Form key! A monk skill that adds HP recovery to all other healing skills. Fist mastery. <laughs> Prerequisite for martial skills uh, that raise bare hand damage. Okay. Uh, strike attack, sending your key against one enemy, paralyze. It's random. Waking chakra. Increase your rate of recovery from status ailments. Darkness fist. Sacrifice HP to strike all enemies. May inflict curse. Counter! Good. Uh, retaliate, counter an enemy's elemental attack. Ooh. All right, so this is the healing stuff. Healing key will recover one ally's HP. Refresh uh, heals the status effect on all allies. Heals bound allies range in, okay. Uh, recover one row of allies HP. Full heal. Healing key will recover all HP for one ally. Party heal. Jeez, resurrect. These take so much effort. <laughs> okay, aesthetic reward. Once per battle, all allies will recover HP upon your death. <laughs> oh. Regain TP if any ally is defeated. Uh, decrease damage from trap floors. Mm, it's okay. And then aesthetic deeds. Recover HP each time you use a skill. Oh. Okay, well, um, I guess I'll just start with healing. We're getting there. All right, Giga Chat, I'm trying to learn how to use you. Ooh. All right, Beast Soul. A skill for wildlings that raises the power of summoned beasts while mastery. Uh, ailment success rate of beasts rise. Okay. Call a bird. Call a snake. Call mole. Call insect. Call owl. Call ooze. <laughs> Call a cow. <laughs> Call an elephant. Call a lion. Call a tiger. That's a lot of uh, animals. <laughs> Alertness. Raises awareness to reduce the chance of being ambushed. Lowers their defense for three turns. Uh, the physical damage of all enemies for three turns. Oh, okay. That might be helpful in the future. Damn, chat, you're looking pretty useful. Uh, nature Pact. A beast may take a mortal blow in your place. A beast may take a physical blow instead of an ally in the same row. Uh, it may take an elemental blow. Okay. Yeah, you're, uh, you're looking pretty good, Chad. You're looking pretty good. All right, so now I can summon a bird, snake, or a mole. Binds the head, binds the arm, binds the legs. Uh, okay, uh... Or I could just keep on... No, I want to start calling animals right away. Bird, snake, or mole? Chad, what do you want? What do you want to summon? This is your job. Do you want to summon a bird, snake, or a mole? Snake, 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 okay. Snake. Snake, just for you. All right, beta. <clears throat> chat plays Etrian Odyssey. You will definitely get to play the Giga Chat character. That is you. You're the self-inserted <laughs> character. The wildling is all yours to command. <clears throat> I feel like you guys will secretly cuck my playthrough. How about this? From now on, 
anytime I have a skill point to use on the wildling, you guys get to choose how I use it. You are building the character. Okay? Chat chooses from now on. All right, raises all elemental affinity attacks. Fire up. Chat on the back row and on the back seat. It's all up to you. It's all up to you. Oh my god, hold on. Ah! Give me a second. Problematic YouTube things. Apparently, my You Laugh, You Lose got copyright claim to the one that was just released 20 minutes ago. Hold up! I can solve this! Uh, I just want to do it now because it literally just got uploaded, so I can I can fix it. Uh, ineligible for monetization. Hello, this is my livelihood. Please don't do that. Puppy tails? Hello, every- What do you mean, no puppy tails? Well, gotta trim out a segment of the video. Sorry, chat. Mm. I gotta do it now, man. I don't- I don't want to lose my muns. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> Frustrating. That's actually really weird because it says manual review. It was not a bot. That's scary. Is a YouTube staff looking at my channel? <laughs> uh, scary thoughts. All right, well, uh, I don't know how long it's going to take to trim, but okay, I fixed it. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> yeah, someone like manually claimed it. Yikes. It actually is really like a, it's really picky what people, what creators will do sometimes with their videos. Especially when it comes to, like, you laugh, you lose. Aw, Sophronia! Aw. <laughs> thank you so much for gifting 10 subs. I appreciate it. Aw, thank you so much. Oh, that's so sweet of you. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Um, I get so tired of, like, really petty people on YouTube sometimes, like, some people, if their videos go viral, they will hire an agency to manually claim, and I think that's what happened here, like, they somewhat, the, the person who owned this video and, like, uploaded it, it's, like, their only viral video that they have, so they're, like, trying to protect it and, like, trying to monetize it in every way, shape, and form that they can. So they hire an agency, and then every time they get a check on somebody reacting to their video, they'll automatically, like, they'll they'll be right there to claim it on manual review. <sighs> I hate it so much. You're just stopping people from, like, giving attention to your video. I don't understand. <laughs> Like, I'm just going to trim the segment out, and then it, your video doesn't get attention. I, I failed to understand the practice. It's just people really petty for money on, like, one viral video. Where, you know, just make more content if you want to make money, you know? It's hard to respect. It's okay, it's just YouTube things. Uh, I am really happy, though, that we actually managed to... Um, I managed to recover my video. Which is insane. Some of you noticed that my... Uh, my Xbox Showcase React video got age-restricted, and I should have looked at that. It's obvious it's because of the, like, Yakuza 8. It's literally nudity. I should have knew that that was going to be a problem. <laughs> um, but uh, I trimmed it out, but I was so afraid of YouTube that I thought 
they would not lift the age restriction after that, but I appealed it after I took it out, and they actually lifted the age restriction, which I... I was, like, about to cry yesterday when I saw that they lifted it, because I, I did not expect that. Like, I have so much fear when it comes to YouTube. Uh, like, after especially looking at RT Games' situation, whenever he tried to appeal an age restriction, his whole channel just went under fire. So I was so scared that that was going to happen to me, but, like, actually, YouTube, I, I, I tried to appeal it, and they actually took it off. <laughs> So that's a that's a YouTube W, man. <laughs> Holy shit. I, I was like gonna cry. I thought my channel was gonna die, man. Ugh. I was so nervous. It makes your job harder. Yeah, it makes it makes everybody's job really hard. Like you you're not gonna know which videos people are going to claim to. It's it's really silly. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. But hey, man, all I gotta say as a person that is heavily on YouTube and Twitch, YouTube is a million times better. <laughs> a million times better. Twitch is the equivalent of being in an abusive relationship. Whereas YouTube, I actually feel like they care about me. Like, I actually have staff that I can talk to. Whereas I can't talk to anybody on Twitch. Like, I got two situations sorted by a real person on YouTube for my channel before. Which was incredible. I can't even get that on fucking Twitch, man. They actually really cared about me. Whenever I had, um... Whenever I dealt with... My 100k subscriber plaque and I had to deal with that, I actually had a physical person talking to me and, like, they even congratulated me. It was actually really sweet. They were like, Also, congrats on hitting your milestone. That, that's really awesome. Well deserved. And I was like, Oh, thanks, YouTube. <laughs> Like, it does genuinely feel like YouTube cares more about creators. I mean, obviously they have to do businessy things, but it's a lot better than Twitch is by far. <clears throat> yeah, it's not as easy, though, as just, like, saying. You can't just tell someone to switch to YouTube. It is not that easy. I want to stream on YouTube, but it is not easy. I can't just, like start streaming on YouTube and magically everything's okay. It doesn't work. <laughs> it, it doesn't work. All enemies. Ooh! Alright, since last time I focused on... That's a lot of sirens. Last time I focused on fire. This time I'm gonna focus on Volt because this is underwater. So logic tells me if I'm in the ocean, thunder. Very smart. I'm very, very smart. No, Twitch's new guidelines won't affect me because I'm not signing the contract. Um, I literally am refusing to update my contract on Twitch. Uh, so eventually I'll lose partnership. It'll take about a year, I think. Uh, the email that I received from Twitch says that I have until October 24th, 2024 to sign. That's a year and a half. I'm just gonna not sign. <laughs> As you have some skill and adventuring, some three skill points have been added. Oh, thank you. I have distributed them already. I did not look at the limit thing, though. Cross slash? When fatally injured, you will have one HP left. Effect ends after battle. Raise an ally's attack for five turns at the start. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Jump scare. While appreciating the roar of the nearby cataract, you find a guard alone at a crossroad. 
I heard that there'd be newcomers to the guild coming. Well, welcome to the Udrasto Labyrinth. The guard greets you cheerfully and then motions toward the unmarked map. I'm sure they told you at the St. Agnes, but your first task is to map the floor. Mine, meanwhile, is to instruct beginners such as yourselves in the cartographic arts. Upon saying this, the guard explains slowly and plainly to you how to draw a map. No, I'm a professional. I am the map god. Perfect. Oh, you can still talk to him. Yeah, I'm just gonna, okay. He's just sitting there. I like this music. Yeah, it's really, really, really hard to like... The basic statistic is if you... Oh, inspect. What? A shortcut? Oh my god, this game is already goaded, already better than a Tree Odyssey 1. <gasps> Nectar. Okay. Okay, game. Already off to a very strong start. You attempt, you make an attempt to ignore the guard and press past him, but he stops you. Oh. Okay, sorry, sorry. This is already going quite well. I'm just gonna auto battle and see what happens. Just kidding, I really shouldn't do that. We're not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna use my skills. <gasps> Yo, Chet! Oh my god, it takes 15 TP to call a snake? Y'all are expensive! But anyway, with the... Uh, with switching platforms, you lose 90% of your audience on average. And that is something like, I am a small creator in comparison to everybody else. I cannot afford to do that. <laughs> I literally can't afford that. Like, I can't, I can't lose 90% of my audience. I could maybe, where I'm at right now, I can maybe lose like 20, 30%, but 90? That's a bit much. Like, let's be real. A lot of people like to say, like, oh, I'd follow you anywhere you go. If you stream on YouTube, I'd follow. No, you won't. <laughs> the, the truth of the matter is you're, no, most people are not going to like follow. And I don't blame you. I 100% don't blame people for that. Oh my God, another shortcut? Oh, oh, wait, you find an old sign in front of the wall and trees written in large print. Caution, not all roads in the labyrinth lead ahead. Only explorers who are careful to examine their full surroundings will be able to continue forth. Okay. Got it. <clears throat> Surfshark VPN. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. I don't know what I'm doing, man. Whoa, I did so much damage. I have to, <laughs> you have to be careful and pay attention. A small crevice is visible in the wall. Perhaps a person may fit through. However, it appears to be impassable from this side. Oh, okay, okay. Future shortcut. Huh. 
Okay. Okay, wow, this is getting pretty elaborate. I have a preemptive attack. So I can already use my limit. Huh. Nice. <clears throat> Finding content is awful. Yeah, I know on YouTube it's a little bit bad right now. I do have faith in YouTube to improve it over time, but we're not we're not at that point yet, unfortunately. You find a small... Oh wait, you find small footprints at a dead end. The footprints lead east, where you can hear something like an animal's cry beyond the bushes. As you carefully peer into the bushes, you find an animal caught in a hanging snare. You hear the cries of its brethren all around as if in response to its piteous wailing. Set the animal free. Yes. The animal nimbly jumps down. The animal is still young. Once it is freed, two of its kind that seem to be its parents emerge. You freeze. You can see that your luck is about to be put to the test. If your luck fails, the beast will interpret, misinterpret your kindness and attack. The beasts glare at you and begin to growl. It seems that they've perceived you as a threat. Your goodwill was misunderstood and now you fight the beasts who stand ready to pounce. Now I should call Snake. Anaconda? Wait! I have an anaconda! My anaconda don't! My anaconda don't! <laughs> oh! The anaconda actually bound the enemy! Okay, chat! Okay, you're doing good! Look at you! Okay. <gasps> a door. I could not have done it without you guys. As you continue through the forest, you reach a hall where colorful blossoms emit a sweet scent. The peculiar flowers say, sway in the wind. Their sweet fragrance grows more alluring. You consider resting here to more fully enjoy this flower scent. I'm gonna get ambushed, aren't I? Ah, uh, yeah, let's rest. I recovered 10 TP. It wasn't a trap? Yo, Pog! It wasn't a trap!
So I got TP. What else are we gonna get, man? Oh, a treasure chest. Love marking that happy spot. Medica? Continue forth? Um, I mean, I guess I can. Oh shit. Oh shit. What? I'm not sure what's happening anymore. I'm like, uh, I'm impressed by this map already. It's already am amazingly better than Netrian Odyssey 1. What the hell? This is great. The treasure chest is locked. This game sucks. another shortcut. This is actually really awesome. I I love this. Oh, a great lynx! You're so cute! Sorry I have to kill you. do so much damage. Ow! Oh! I'm dead! Alpha, no! I have a nectar. I feel like it's so early that I shouldn't be using it, though. I should just go back. Man, but my progress was so good. Maybe I'll find a shortcut here. Maybe? Since they seem to be good at shortcuts. Oh no, wait, I should run. This guy sucks. Strong kitty. Very, very strong kitty. Damn. It's not looking like there's gonna be a shortcut on this side. Oh no. Strong kitty. Strong kitty. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Another shortcut. This game is amazing! It makes it so much easier when there's actually shortcuts! That's incredible. I'm amazed by the quality of life. <laughs> it's such a big quality of life difference. to raise your ass. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't pay for this. I'm broke. Chat's so base we didn't die first. You guys didn't die first. I'm very, very proud of you. The first death was alpha.
Wait, did I save? Did it auto save? Wait, I shouldn't go in the labyrinth if I didn't save. I didn't pay attention to that. It did? I know it saves whenever you sleep, but I was just nervous about it. Okay, it did. You can never be too safe. I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure. Ooh! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have found our first very happy area. Careful, man. There's three of these guys now. Ah, I guess I'll just auto battle. It is amazing how I play like... I'm actually glad I started with Etrian Odyssey 1 to have like the context of how much this game is a dramatic improvement already. Cause I really wouldn't have been able to know. And then like, if I start off with Etrian Odyssey 3 and then I play one and two, I'm just gonna be like, kind of disappointed. It's <laughs> the amount of shortcuts I already have, man. The map design goaded. Oh, thank you, Zenny. I appreciate it. Oh, it was a fantastic experience. So I can only use bandage. Oh my god, bandage only heals... 10? Holy hell, I thought that was gonna do more. Okay, buddy. Alright, I believe I have two skill points. Alright, Chad, get ready to, uh... What's the word? Request how you want to use your skill points, because I think everybody has two now. healing. Hmm. I kind of do want to get revive as soon as possible, but I also want party heal instead of like line heal. All right, here is the wildling. You guys have two points. Now we could use like B soul to raise the power. You could just tell me to do wild mastery because you want to call another... Honestly, we could just do like a lion or... <gasps> oh, you got me something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, is it warm? I don't like it on fire, remember? It's warm as fun. <laughs> Thank you. He brought home a dessert for me. Not really dessert. What's it called? Denois? Denoise. Anyway. 
<clears throat> more animals. More animals. Primal drums. Uh, all the animals. All the animals. Get the other two animals. Enemies have a level, and the difference between your level and the enemy's level directly affects the damage you inflict or take in combat. Oh, I had no idea. I didn't. I didn't know. Oh. So that's why the grinding actually helped a little bit, maybe, for the final boss. Oh, thank you. Look at this beautiful denua. It's like a... It's not a croissant, but like... It's a pastry, and then it has like a cheese and ham filling on the inside. <clears throat> so I'm getting a little bit of like, you guys want me to summon more animals, so maybe I call bird and call mole. But like... I don't have a lot of TP at this point in time, so I feel like that's not gonna do very well. I feel like I should get Dismiss Beast, maybe? Roar for now? You want Beast Roar? Give chat a drum, give Trent. Okay, you okay, chat wants a drum. Okay, you guys got a drum. And drum and roar. You just you just want to be able to say roar. roar. I know that that's the only reason. I see. All right. Well, you guys got it. <laughs> uh, dark ether. Wait, one row of allies will be able to use skills at no TP cost. I feel like that's going to be amazing for late game, but early game it has no use right now. Meteor? Okay, why is Meteor locked behind horoscope? That doesn't make any sense. Chat demands to be heard! Roar! <laughs> This is your character to command. I, I'm just here, man. <laughs> I'm just here. I really want Volt Prophecy. These Prophecy skills are great. Regain TP each time you defeat an enemy is also great. All right, for now I'm gonna go more Volt Star. Moving right along. Chat can be loud now. You can be as loud as you want. I will not stop you. <gasps> Is this a happy room? We can't chop. We don't, uh... I have nobody to chop. I probably should have got somebody on the chop, chop ability. <laughs> I'll do it later. Like we're getting through the map pretty good here. Ooh. Hot. Ah. Oh, oh, God. oh, hi. Hope you're having a wonderful day. No, you! I hope you're having a wonderful day. B baka Simrich, thank you so much for the 39 months. I really appreciate it. I'm not gonna die.
Never punished. Actually, wait. Huh. Maybe I will just end up doing this. I did the map. You make an attempt to ignore the guard. Is your map complete? The guard's previously stern countenance lightened up. Oh, you've done a simply wonderful job here. His expression utterly transformed. The guard showers you with effusive praise. Go now hence to the Senatus and report to them your success to claim your reward. Why, thank you. I am a map god. Thank you. He just admitted it. All right, Senatus. Report results. I have completed my map. Word has reached me of your success in completing this map. You've proven your mettle as explorers strong enough to challenge the labyrinth. I'll authorize the sale of items at Napier's firm, which you may find necessary in your travels. I'll also send word to the pier that Guild Bitches requires a seaworthy vessel. That should allow you to set on out on voyages whenever the seafaring urge may strike. Train yourself in battle on the open seas and gain power enough to someday grant my wish. Wait, I get levels for side quests now? That didn't happen before and that was really dog shit. I'm so happy I actually get a reward for it now. bonus experience. It really sucked in Entry Odyssey 1. Like, it never felt rewarding to turn in side quests. Kind of was shit. Here at the Butterfly Bistro, you can talk to- yeah. You can talk to people and take on side jobs called requests. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. As long as you give me experience this time around, I'm happy. One frog cheek and three slimy legs. That just sounds amazing. And she had a pun in there too. God, I'm glad I didn't read that. The client is Bill, an apprentice fisherman who is known for being a lazy oaf. He says he is wanting a, pl a, wanting a safe place to sunbat sunbathe. I bet he's looking for a nap spot. You may be finding such a perfect spot somewhere on basement floor of one. You find a good place for him and let me know. This will be the end of this. I can be counting on you. This is the best one? What? So Etrian Odyssey 4, 5, and 6 only go downhill? Thank you. <laughs> Did it go well? You're walking. <laughs> They're very solid. Okay, okay. This is Inver, Armor Road's largest trade port. Or what's left of it. When the calamity struck a century ago, the topography changed and commerce ended. Since then, many have worked to reopen trade routes, but nobody can get ships out past these currents. That's why the Senatus and I are asking explorers to set sail and create new sea charts. The rewards are handsome indeed. If you can chart a course from here to the north, it'll be worth it. I've even gotten them to lend you a ship, exclusive, exclusively for bitches use. <laughs> bitches is... <laughs> I'm naming the ship? Oh, I have to name the ship. For the Guild of Bitches. We could just name it the SS Bitches. Hmm. SS already takes up four. Oh my god. 
Just SS bitch. The actual word. Just straight up. setting sail. I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't, I, there's more than a labyrinth. I can actually sail. And I'm just confused. Uh, I need to load food? Your provisions determine how far you can range. This isn't very tasty, but it'll keep you going. Use it to learn the ropes of charting the sea. It's a little threadbare, but you should take this flag. It's a good luck token, commonly hoisted by fishermen praying for a big catch. Your objective is to fill in the sea map, but voyages get pretty costly, so I propose a deal. When you notice fish during your voyage, catch and bring them back. That'll bring in a big bit of income. Just make sure that you keep your eyes on the real prize. Six turns, what? Uh... Okay... Outfitting your vessel is set to sail will cost 10? I'm on the sea. Your duty to chart the boundless ocean, recording its shores and shoals on your map. You decide to start with the area around Armoro to get used to navigating the seas. Review the controls? I'm sure it's just the same thing. Oh, look, it's like Fog of War. Fish. Fish. You're out of provisions? <laughs> I... okay. Incredible. Epic glossary. Mm hmm. So to go six squares, it costs ten. Wait, there's an FOE out in the water. Are you kidding me? What? Okay, I'm out of provisions. Uh, <laughs> All right. I profited 14. Damn.
There's one item that may only be sold to explorers authorized by the Sinaitis. It's called Naria and a Thre- Why couldn't I get that in Etrian Odyssey 1? What the fuck? No, they never gave it to me. They literally never gave it to me in the game. It was never in my shop list. Wondering if I should... Should I gear up? Uh, you know, Giga Chat, finally. They're not really getting hit, though, so I don't feel like I should. <clears throat> I needed to talk to- I never talked to her, so I never- All because I didn't talk to her. I had to suffer. Anyway. I don't think I want to rest. Is that dumb? Okay, I should just do it. The inflation's already starting! It has an audio desync? Wait, what? Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Is my YouTube on fire? <sighs> okay, YouTube sometimes fucks up. What I'm trying to do is trim out a copyright claim in the video right now. So sometimes when you trim stuff out of a YouTube video, YouTube fucks up the video. Mm. It also could be because it's not done processing yet. Because it has to fully process before it's fixed. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh my god. This is so annoying. Uh, I think I can override it. Give me a sec. I could just, like, take down the you'll laugh, you lose. Like, cut it out and re-upload by the end of the day so it's still uploaded on Wednesday. That might be better. Oh, this is so annoying. I hate dealing with this, like, while I'm streaming. <laughs> I just don't I want to lose the monetization on it. Okay, so the video is still being processed, so I can't, I can't fix it right now. It's harsh. Okay, I think it's just better if I take it down, which really fucking sucks. I'll just, I won't delete it, but I'll private it right now. Mm. Tion, do you have time right now? If I gave you the timestamp. So it's, uh, yeah. it's apparently. I wonder if I can render a video while I'm streaming. I've never done that before, but if I, could, I could also do that. <laughs> Holy shit. I just, I'll just take it down. Okay. Uh, here's the timestamp. So it's this video from here to here. Yeah. Okay. That, that timestamp. Jesus Christ. <laughs> ah, okay. It's just, it's just gone. I'll still upload it on Wednesday. 
God damn it. I cry. I literally hate YouTube complications so much. And I've had to deal with two this week. That is too, too many. Uh, let me just write a community post. I cry. Okay. It is privated for now so that people aren't suffering with audio desync. <clears throat> Etrian Odyssey series was great! Good old classic dungeon crawler, me. It's wonderful. Alright, I tried to handle the YouTube thing as fast as possible. Now we can move on to becoming more map god. Damn it. Ah. No, no, no. It the audio desync only appeared in like after so like if you watched the you laugh you lose video in the first 20 minutes of launch, it was fine. But it's because I tried to fix it. It's a forging hammer. Enhancing one's weapons is common practice? If you seriously intend to explore, you should consider doing the same. Huh. Three heavy hammers, which you gracefully accept. Forge? Oh, that's a new thing. Okay. Nice. Oh, there's like worms on the door. That's disgusting. Sorry about the Olaf Yulu's video, guys. I really, God, having complications like this really stressed me out. Oh, it's a moon! Hmm. Okay. Dealing with a moon god door. I like it, I like it. Shop in Happy Corner. Jeez, that was not a lot of steps. <laughs> I'm just gonna auto battle. I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. I only just started. I like color coding them. It just helps it so it stands out a little bit more. It's just a cute little touch.
Hmm. The frogs are a little bit annoying. The limits seem to be free. I should just, like, be using those, I feel. triangle. I've heard that joke a lot whenever, you know, you grow up with, like, basic math class. <laughs> oh, the stairs to descend! We blame the tube. Honestly, it's not YouTube's fault. It's the shitty person that decides to manually claim the video. Like, that's whose fault it is. It's not YouTube. It's just the person wanting money. All of my revenue, apparently, they want. probably heal. I can survive. It's okay. I'm almost done with my denoise. big upgrade. <laughs> well, I guess Summer Tweet is like your starting set, so anything is better than that, pretty much. <clears throat> Video wasn't even that funny. I know. I know. The only thing I don't think that's right is if if a video is like you know 30 seconds of my 20 minute long video how come that person gets all of my revenue and not just a portion of that revenue that is what i don't understand like i just don't get jack shit and that's what makes me mad like someone can claim one sliver of my whole last video and get all of the money off of my video. It's still up to the shitty people that actually do it, though. That, like, hunt down the clips that they use. The sprouts look as if they might be edible. Will you muster the courage to pluck one and eat it? Yes. I take a bite of the sprout and swallow. Suddenly, Beta begins to complain of severe stomach pains. It seems that the sprout, far from being edible, was a species of poisonous plant. Regretting your carelessness, you return to your explorations. Beta, no! You deserve better, buddy. You deserve better, I'm so sorry. This Lynx, man, they suck. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. Oh wait, where am I going? Fuck, the stairs are over here. Damn it. Downstairs, we're already on floor two. This game got, don't got shit on me, man. A large bill. Oh god, I don't know if I'm ready for this guy. Primal drums, uh... Fuck. Call my snake. I have a snake. You obtained a hammer in the forest to forge weapons? Allow me to explain. Not for free. Perish the thought. A nominal fee applies, which varies by weapon. Secondary materials will also be required, but if you if I've purchased them already, that will suffice. Let's table any questions for the moment and demonstrate. Forge. Everybody's dead. And I have to- oh my god, it's gonna take me 80 bucks to bring everybody back to life. Hello. That was rough. To say the least, that was- that was- that was rough. So Giga Baba and Alpha, Giga Moth, Giga Chan Beta in the back. Shit. <sighs> I can't tell if it's highlighted blue or not. Okay, that was that was a bit weird. Time to grind, man. I do have quests to fulfill, so the quests could actually help a lot, though. Oh, the gigapete! Gigapede legs are used as fishing bait. They only appear at night. I need small flowers to make nectar. Okay.
Demand is high, but my profit's too low to maximize my profits. I can't let this chance slip. That's why I've been gathering small flowers so I can make nectar out of them. You can gather small flowers on the second floor. When you find one, come back here and sell it to me. I'll give you a little bonus on top of the standard asking price for the flower. Okay. How about I just go on a boat? J JK, I'm, I'm, nope. Let's, n let's just not go on a boat. Everything in this game seems so innocent, but now that I've played the first game, I'm, I'm thinking that and, and nothing is innocent. So they said the labyrinth is more dangerous at night, huh? Oh, really? So I have a skill point on everybody to spend. Nine smashes. Jesus. Hmm. All right, my buccaneer, rapier, mastery. I kind of want smosh buckling. Covers TP when using attack skills. I also feel like I need to use somebody. Maybe I'll use my Buccaneer for chop right now. Because I need someone on that. Alright, chat. You guys have a point in Wildling. Would you like more wild mastery to summon more animals? Or do you want drums? Do you want roar? Do you want to dismiss beasts? What do you want? You tell me. Mastery. All right, so y'all are saying mastery. Got it. battle. We didn't really have a big battle. Just a chicken. A green chicken that whooped my ass. Too exhausted to continue? Oh my god. Bitch, you chopped one thing. Oh boy. I feel, I still, sorry, I still feel really bad about the Yulaku lose. Give me un momento. Where am I going? Back to the resting spot, because I think that's one of our quests is to identify the resting spot.
<clears throat> Don't worry, I'll be able to handle the green chicken, okay? It's not gonna take much effort at all. Maybe. That was the quest, right? Oh, find a gigapede leg. Need small flowers. Looking for a place I can sunbathe where no one will find me and I'll be safe from monsters. Yeah. Is this not good enough? This, this, this would be the place. There's no monsters here. Okay. <clears throat> oh wait, there's a shortcut down here. I'm training to beat up a chicken, yes. <laughs> Big green chicken. Anytime I think of green chicken, though, I always think of um, Enkidu. En en Hopefully, I didn't butcher that. Enkidu. Amazing. I'm confused by the quest. Don't tell me I need to do it like a certain time of day. Maybe I just, like, didn't find the right spot. Intellect book. Huh. <clears throat> Go on picnic to grind. Dude, I literally just started the game. I'm fine. <laughs> And besides, I wouldn't do that anyway to grind. Back in we go! I could just pass the time to... And then I can chop more too. Gonna go back to that spot just because I'm confused. It could be on the second floor though. But that, this doesn't make any sense. So I can come back here at any point in time to rest and gain 10 TP. That's gaming. I wonder if it's like every time?
I bet I'd get good if I defeated more of the, the kitty cats. <clears throat> Booba is strong, yeah. Indeed. Everything about this game is such a stronger start. Even having like the extra mini game, I don't even know what to call it, like the ships embarking. I really like that idea as well. So they already have added content. They've already introduced forging. There's just so much more and like already having amazing uh, shortcuts right off the bat. All this good shit, man. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't even say more polished. The polish is the same. The gameplay has just improved a lot. Like, the quality of life stuff. I don't consider that polished. <clears throat> it was pretty hard to get at first to get into 1 and 2. Yeah, I'm glad I already played 1 to already have experienced that. This is really a million times better. I guess it also could be in the other corner. I'll go check. Because if I do these side quests, it's going to give me experience, too. One was too difficult at the start. Uh, it feels the same. I don't know, Etrian Odyssey 1 feels the same as, like, 3 right now in terms of starting difficulty. Constantly like the survivalist, but you know that that's a bad thing, right? Survivalist was our actual team carry. So we are now in a position where we do not have a team ca team carry. Because this, the survivalist struggled so much, because of that, it made them strong. A chat could be the one dying constantly. Right now, it's Alpha. That's the second time Alpha has died. Not looking too good for, uh, Alpha here. Mm hmm. Maybe since it's the morning. I'm annoyed by this quest already because I feel like I found the room, but... Like, you for real, for real, or...? The curse of frontline. Alpha tried very hard. <clears throat> I should save my game. I'm not gonna sleep, but I should save. Frontlines are way too squishy. Yeah, I think I was lucky with my choice of characters in my last party in Etrian Etri Etri Odyssey 1. I had my protector. 
which really helped a lot. The front right gets dogpiled for whatever reason. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this space here, this is definitely the space. There's also no enemies here. So like, how the fuck am I supposed to trigger the quest? That's it. Ugh! I wonder if it's some timey-wimey stupid shit because it specifically says like, I want to see where I can sunbathe, so I have to be there at a certain time of day. God, if it's some stupid shit like that. I don't know how you would mark that. That's definitely it though. <clears throat> that makes me think though if it's the curse of being in the front right spot why did i not ever put the protector in that front right, front right spot could have done that The speed seems the same, so I'm gonna go into the settings and... Yeah. Time to go over refreshed. Safe space. <laughs> Tent. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever that means. You can- you can set up camp there if you want. Oh, wait, do I have another skill point? <gasps> we do! Okay, uh... Gladiator? I'm gonna keep going with Club Mastery. Rapier Mastery. I almost have Resurrect. That's a, that's pretty early. Oh wait, chat, you need to pick. Um, do you want Mastery, Dismiss Beast? Uh, I don't know why you would want the bottom quite yet. Seems too early for that. What, what do y'all want? Dismiss, Dismiss, Dismiss. Oh, okay. Dismiss. Dismiss it is. <laughs> Sounds good. Done and done. Look at these beautiful, beautiful shortcuts. Oh. The beaut. The coloration is not 
clear. I want to make sure I'm not selling those items. <clears throat> oh shit. Oh, thank you. All right. Hold on. Download video video. All right, and then as soon as that's done downloading, I will upload that right away. Life belt? A mysterious bra bracelet that awakens one's hidden strengths. Interesting description you have there. I feel like I really should get more defense before I go in and die more. I don't know what I can really get though. <clears throat> Looks like a cool game. If you like dungeon crawlers, if you like it, absolutely go for it. Oh my god! I'm gonna abandon the quest and then do it again and see if it says something specific. You find a good place for him and let me know. I'm trying to let you know, bitch. <clears throat> Does it just lie when it says survivors can be either on the front? Side? It depends on how you use them. It's all in how you use them. Like, there's so many different classes in the game, and also different compositions in general. It's all in the kind of party that you're putting together, man. I wouldn't say it's the game itself. You, the game's just there to give you a lot of options. Quest is bugged. I don't know. I did find in Etrian Odyssey 1, there were two quests that were bugged for me, and I even looked them up to make sure I wasn't going crazy, and they just straight up weren't working, which was really a shame. But it also, it's like, it sucks that they were bugged out, but I also at the same time, the quest didn't really give you anything. So I guess there's no real reward for doing quests in Etrian Odyssey 1. It just sucks that they had bugs in the first place. Yeah, big oof. All right, I almost have the video downloaded. Five more seconds. And then I got to spend a second here to upload it onto the YouTubes. <clears throat> so many people were watching the You Laugh, You Lose video. Ah, I feel so bad. Ah. Thank you, Tion. Fuck the bird video, man. <laughs> fuck that guy for manually trying to steal my money. Like, fuck off. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Wait. This shouldn't take long because I don't need to actually do anything. I just reuse all the stuff. Okay. You laugh, you lose. You laugh, you lose. And now I wait for it to be uploaded, which it says 20 minutes. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. 
I'm also streaming at the same time, which probably doesn't help. Um, hopefully uploading a video doesn't destroy my stream. I think I should be okay. I have enough upload speed for me to do both of those things. I think it should be okay. Okay, 20 minutes on upload. Okay, cool. Oh. Did you have a bug for one of the fourth stratum quests? I think it was the third stratum, but I think the third stratum was one. Not fourth stratum, no. No, not the fourth one. I mean, I just like to delay. So like if I'm in the middle of playing a game, I like to delay the game that I'm playing on YouTube because YouTube commenting etiquette is non-existent in terms of backseating. So like if I'm in the middle of playing something, backseating is so horrendous on YouTube. I don't like it. So I wanted to wait until I finished Etrian Odyssey 1 and I still have like, I have to finish uploading all my Zelda VODs. I think my last one is going up today or tomorrow. But yeah, I just get really annoyed by backseat comments, so I wait to upload them. <clears throat> just to protect myself. <laughs> it really sucks how shitty people can be, but like I can't expect people not to do that on YouTube. It just happens, so this is how I retaliate, and it's just I refuse to upload timely. <laughs> Oh yeah, spoilers are also big on YouTube too. People don't give a fuck, dude. People don't give a flying fuck. There is zero etiquette. Oh yeah, people- oh my god! oh my god. It, you want to know the game that I get backseated on the most to this day? It's my Persona 4 VODs for some reason the most? I'll get a backseating comment probably once a week on my Persona 4 VODs, and I don't know why. Like, it's Persona 4, and I played that game two and a half years ago. Like, bitch, what the fuck are you trying to tell me to do? Like, what do people think? Do, do people think before they type shit into YouTube comments? Like, I don't- I, I, I don't think that they do. Like, bitch, this- this VOD is two and a half years old! <laughs> what are you doing?! It'll just say stuff like, Oh, I should've done this social link to get this perk and oh should have done this or else you're really missing out on that it's just shit like that and i'm like okay cool story don't care uh. oh giga chat there's a giga chat emote hey that's you guys i keep going back to this corner to figure out how to trigger the fucking quest it's irritating Yeah, yeah. Oh god. I will forever- I know at some point I hope I stop being annoyed by certain YouTube comments. Right now my annoyance is when people don't finish watching a video and they ask a question that is answered in the goddamn video if you just keep watching. Just watch it! You know how many people are like, what are your thoughts on the Persona 3 new cast? And I'm like, just watch the goddamn video! <laughs> it's in there! It's just- why are you asking me? Why? Just watch the video. I say my thoughts on the Persona 3 cast, on the voice acting cast. It's literally there, bro. Just... <laughs> I lose brain cells. Or they don't read description. Thank you, Lee. Yes, that. Like, it's so frustrating. <laughs> like, the, all of the information that you are asking is there. I promise you. 
Just fucking watch or read, Jesus. Oh. I know. One day, I truly hope that one day I don't get bothered by these comments and I'm just like, I move on. But sometimes like people's like laziness just really gets to me. I'm like, how can you be so lazy? How? How? Oh. I don't want a frog dish. No, I've never had frog before and I don't want to start eating frog. Thanks. Experience for quests. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, why do I love that so much? Oh. I think I'm above the annoyance. I always fail. I'm above like at, at some at this point, I think I'm above like certain comments. Just like the blatantly stupid ones that are like, you're ugly, you're a bitch, make better content. Those types of things, like, I can look past those super easy. But the people being lazy, I, I hope that's my next hurdle I cross. <laughs> I really, really hope so. Ugh. I cry. Oh, that's an interesting topic. Attention spans. I was watching... I watched the latest video from Anthony Padilla, who did a video with Vsauce. And they, they had an interesting conversation about how we have a misconception about people's attention spans getting shorter and shorter. And they were arguing that it's not true. And you know what? The more that they talked about it, I'm like, it got me thinking, like... You know what? I actually never thought of that, and I kind of believe it. It's just this conception that we have that our attention spans are getting shorter and shorter by technology, by phones, but, like, it's not true. Attention spans have always been the same. And then they pulled up data, and I'm like, oh shit. Huh. Makes you think. It's like, I don't know, that's, uh... That I can kind of get behind, because they were very convincing in their argument, and I was just sitting there kind of genuinely surprised. <clears throat> Alright, hold up. I gotta manage my YouTube video for, like, give me 60 seconds. I want to make sure it uploads as soon as possible for you guys. I feel bad. <laughs> I hate video complications. And I hate more that I have to do this in the middle of my stream. Ah! Okay. So that's done. Sorry for re-upload. Someone manually claimed a video. And was pee pee poo poo. Pee pee poo poo. That's yes. I'm five. Add suitability. None of the above. <clears throat> no, honestly, um, I watch like every Mr. Beast, uh, 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 like interview known to man. Every, every, he's, he's like genuinely so fascinating to watch. Um, and yeah, his biggest complaint with YouTube is the comments and just how unfiltered they are. It's a genuine problem. I feel thankful because I feel like our comments are pretty good. In at least in my channel, you're gonna have some shits here and there. It's whatever, but I, I generally feel like our comments are pretty good. But it's true. Like the bigger creator you are, it just gets so bad. If you're a smaller creator, comments are fine. Bigger creator, it gets so unmanageable, and people are so shit because they don't just, like people just don't treat you like a person when you get up that high and. Uh, and then there's, like, a ton of fucking scams, too, that are tied to it. It's a nightmare. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. But YouTube is the least manageable of all of them. Twitter you can handle. Twitch is easily hand handleable. You have so many tools to get rid of comments and shit, but... Ugh. 
Yeah, YouTube is just really bad, man. But yeah, it's hard to have a good conversation, exactly. True that, man. Alright, we are at 58% on the upload. Until you guys get your You Laugh, You Lose episode. <laughs> Again, I am so sorry about it. Fifty-nine percent. I'm like religiously watching it. A Xeno Gears remake. Oh, Dom, my partner, loves Xeno Gears. He would be so ecstatic about that. So confused. All right, chat, feel free to backseat. How in the goddamn fuck are you supposed to complete this quest? I am in the right area. How am I triggering this? Does anybody know? Because this is ridiculous, dude. <clears throat> You're on your way to get people working on it just to make Dom smile. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> oh, it's a dead end? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? That doesn't make any sense! I cry. She won and I missed it, no way. Yep, you missed it. And you want to know the worst part, Johnny? I didn't even need immunize. It was a good strat. It was a good strat, but I ended up not needing it. I needed um, rear guard, my protector. I gave my protector rear guard and then I was fine. And then nobody died except for the, the survivalist in the front line, but it's okay, we didn't need that guy. This is the sunbathing. Mm, okay. I hate this game. All right, I'm gonna turn this in and I'm ready to go down to the next floor. Thanks, Johnny, I appreciate it. Your wisdom was greatly appreciated. I just gave, like, this game so much praise, and then this quest was so bullshit, man. After all the praise I just spewed, this is what I get. I bet I can take on the green chicken, though. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I will turn in this first. Oh god, I keep going the wrong place. Blah. This this thing. Thanks for the hundred bucks. How was Spider-Verse? Oh, I talked about it at the beginning of the stream. It's fucking amazing. I was so mad. It's actually funny. My whole theater kind of like blew up at the end to be continued. Everyone's like, ah! <laughs> I was so surprised at how, like, full the theater was, genuinely. Because this movie was out three weeks ago, but my theater was so full of people. It was fantastic. A 
I'm not going to be using them much for attack. I'm like, eh, maybe I don't care about any of this. Although I should care about you. Wait, maybe I should care. Yeah, I should care. Wait a second. I'm gonna be fighting green chickens. I need strength. <laughs> Wait. Oh, the chickens. Yeah, I, I, I literally just got to floor two. And the chickens just whooped my ass. Couldn't even go one floor. <laughs> Alright, club mastery. Let's go. Club mastery is the only mastery I need. Rapier mastery is the only one I need. Healing. Now I have resurrect. That's cool. All right, chat, you have your uh, giga chat. You have your skill point. What would you guys like? So we, you could do uh, mastery. I guess you could do beast soul to make the beasts also more powerful. You guys choose your fate. We heard the lynx wasn't a big deal anymore. He was lynx too. God. Mastery, mastery. All right, got it. That's, that's chat's character. You guys choose how you want that one. <clears throat> Giga chat mastery. <laughs> All right, let's save. I'm going to floor two. Let's hope I don't die this time. I feel like I'm trained. I've trained enough to handle a big chicken. I could just run away from the chicken too. That's another option. All right, we have arrived. All right, hopefully I can go more than two steps. Oh my God, we're progging. <laughs> With your first steps into a new floor, your spirits are high as you advance through the forest. However, a sudden sharp voice calls to you from behind. Hold, explorers! There is much you should know to survive these depths. Heed my advice. Oh. Look at this dude. His hair looks ridiculous. You turn to find a young explorer before you. He is blonde and has a stern look that hints at greater maturity than his youth would suggest. Is this your first time on the second floor? As if gauging your metal? Though he is alone, his presence is somewhat fearsome. You wonder how best to respond. I'm, uh, quite experienced. He clearly gives you a mocking smile. Okay. Uh, pardon me. I'm here to give advice to newcomers. Advice which you veterans wouldn't need. The man who is clad in a red outfit of foreign design shifts his gaze to the forest ahead. Those who come here swaggering in triumph from the first floor usually die at that beast's hand. You follow the man's gaze to a powerful monster, the likes of which you've never seen. But who, save novices, would make such an error? Veterans like you should have no worries. The mocking smile does not leave the man's face as he disappears from view into the forest. Okay, asshole. Why is it chasing me all the way back here? Jesus. chicken oh I survived this guy's easy maybe I'll lower his physical damage beast roar beast roar chats the MVP here oh I died I'm just gonna defend Okay, uh, resurrect. 
Oh, Jesus. Maybe I should just run. Fuck. But the chicken... Call the snake! He dodged my attack. You fuckface. Okay, my YouTube video is almost ready. It's in the checking phase right now. The large bill. God, this bitch. <sighs> Just, uh, uh, I don't know what to do. Oh my god, gaming, 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 gaming! I'm gonna kill the chicken! <gasps> I killed the chicken! Yeah! Now there's a lot more. I did it though, I, I beat up a chicken! Oh no! No! Oh my god, I'm broke. We're fucking broke. I can't even afford a thread. We're actually butt-ass broke. I, I can't- I can't afford a thread. Who needs a Bravant anyway? Not me. I don't- I don't need that. Oh boy. Well, this is a great start. It's a- it's a wonderful start. Don't worry, you can't softlock. You sure? You sure about that, fam? Did I level up? Wasn't sure if I have any points to spend. No, okay. You can help. Help how? Get the farmer and grind? I don't need to grind. Well, not yet, at least. I genuinely don't feel like I'm, I have to yet. I feel like as long as I keep up with quests, should be okay. Oh. You try peering inside, but it's too dark to make out whatever is glistening within. You should probably, uh, it probably wouldn't be hard to reach if you tried, but is it, is that the best idea? Yes. You're about to approach the hole when Gigamoth suddenly stops you. You shift to Gigamoth's vantage point and see that, in fact, a monster was hiding inside. What you saw before was the monster's hide glistening with vicious fluids. 
The beast that has hoped to catch you unawares rushes out in a blur. Draw your weapons and fight. Okay. Oh, God. Wait, my... Oh, no! Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! My... I'm backwards! This is fine. Okay, uh, I can do this. I think we're okay. We're okay. Okay. I was a little bit worried, but we're okay. Hire some people at the guild and sell their gear for money if you're low. Wait, hire people at the guild and sell their gear? You can do that? <laughs> that seems like such a hack. What the hell? That feels illegal. Gigababa and Alpha were in the front, right? Fire and fire. Oh my god. The hack of the century. What the hell? I feel like I gotta save my TP for the chicken. Oh, I'll bring back the moss from SMT4. We could have brought back the moss meme. You're right, missed opportunity. Oh, that's an FOE. I, I'm actually moving too fast that I... Almost didn't catch. As you go forth, matching wits against dangerous monsters, you see a cloaked figure. Noticing you, the figure comes near. You can see it is female, and what's more, she is smiling. Hi. Is that a jack-o'-lantern on her earring? <laughs> it is nice to meet you. Uh, you must be explorers from Armor Road. An incongruously cheerful voice comes from the girl, who ignores your bewilderment and continues. You needn't be frightened. My name is Olympia. I am active in helping explorers like you. The girl smiles again and hands you one of her, the backpacks that she's holding. This is a camping tent. It is practically a necessity here. You may have it if you like. The girl called Olympia points to the right fork of the road ahead before continuing. That way lies a campground. It is a safe place to use your tent. Olympia looks again at the tent in your hands. Many explorers use tents to rest during their travels. You should make use of that spot as well. She's Though she has said little, the girl turns to leave as if there is no more for her to say. I will rest at the campground myself for a while. If you would like to talk more, come see me. The choice is yours. Investigate the campground Olympia spoke of, or continue on your way. Bye! Oh. Oh, a claw shrimp. That's a new one. Fuck him up. <clears throat> She's like a little cosplayer uh, jack-o'-lantern, yeah. Okay, I think the You Laugh, You Lose video is ready. Hold up. 
All right, I'm going to upload the You Laugh, You Lose, everybody. It's it's published now. I do hope that it's better. I think it should be fine. Sorry about that. Oh, a star. So we got star and moon doors. Ooh. Oh God. As your boot slicks slightly in some mud, you take a second look at the path you tread. On closer inspections, there are certain areas here that are like a marshy wetland. It doesn't seem too deep, but the mud does put a noticeable damper on your walking speed. You shudder to think how easily any monster chasing you through this muck would catch you. You make a note to be careful of the mud from this point on. That's nerve-wrecking, dude. Oh no! Dude, I hate the Twitch smile emote too. It's literally awful. Oh, great. And now I'm poisoned. Me, the healer. Time to call a snake. I hate the smile. Oh, you actually like the team comp? Hell yeah. I got approved by the one and only gamer. Oh, cool. I never backseat or be in one. Uh, ow, this is, this is a bunch of ow. Oh boy, uh, I didn't do this very well. I'm dumb. Uh, ow. Call another snake. <laughs> They're going after the healer. Bro, why? Don't die. Okay. Phew. Holy shit. Okay, I could use that tent area now. <laughs> I just gotta make it there. We gotta make it there alive. Jeez. Hey, boy. Oh. Congrats on your Etrian Odyssey 1 victory. Thank you. Oh, the smile got banned. Yeah, I've... Look, I've had the problem, too. Where people use the smile and like, whenever you see chat using the smile, nine times out of ten, it's like a spoiler. However, since I've had two experiences where y'all like double baited me, 
y'all smiled and I was like, oh, they just kind of like spoiled it for me. But then it was a bait. Like you guys use like reverse psychology with the smile and now I have trust issues. So now when you smile, I really don't know if you're actually spoiling or you're like reverse psychology it and like you're making me think that I, that you're spoiling it, but you're not. It's, <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> and you know, I don't think you guys do it on purpose either. I think that they're, it, because not everybody in the chat knows what's going on 100% of the time. So some people just like smile just to join the bandwagon, but they don't know what they're doing. But like little do y'all know that you fucks are being smart as shit because it's confusing the ever living fuck out of me. So like, <laughs> I thought about banning it. I thought about it. <laughs> Little do you know, we all know what we're doing. The smile, the smile can be taken different ways, for sure. <sighs> it's not always like straightforward on the on the spoiling, so you get you get a pass for that. It's all in your head. Gee, thanks. <clears throat> Near the trees, further in, you see a lone girl resting against one of the pines. Can I just use the item now? No, it doesn't say I can. Talk. You slowly approach the girl who leans nonchalantly against a tree. As she notices you, she smiles and addresses the guild. We meet again. How fare you in your travels? You try to remember if there was anything you wanted to ask the girl. Um, so, who are you? Would anyone in the labyrinth really be so free with advice and expect nothing in compensation? You ask the girl called Olympia who she is and what reason she has to assist other explorers. Despite the suspicion evident in her vo in your voice, the girl is cheerful and upbeat as she answers. Don't worry about that. I have my own reasons. After some time, if you grow as strong as after some time if you grow as strong as you think you will, I'll tell you what they are. Olympia then closes her eyes and shakes her head quietly. It seems futile to inquire any further. Uh, you ask her for um, suge suggestions on how to proceed. The girl looks up and thinks to herself before answering slowly. Listen carefully. Some paths in this forest ex exist where you'd least expect them to. Even when you think you've come up against a wall or a dead end, search carefully. If you can find these hidden passages, traveling from town and back will be much easier. The girl looks at you and smiles once again. It looks as though she expects you to ask another question. Um, but I have nothing else. I'm going to remain here for a while longer. If there's anything else that you'd like to ask, please come back here and find me. Okay. Thank you. Camp. You don't detect any imminent threat. It's no, no doubt safe to camp here. Pitch tent and camp. Yeah, let's go. Hell yeah. I used my first tent. Gaming. Should I just go past him? I'm a little bit scared to do that. Oh no, what's that? Oh, it's a gigapede! Hey, we need that. I want the Pyrojack headphones, man. <clears throat> You interpret the smile as telling others in chat not to comment on whatever the streamer is musing about. I mean, that's one use of smile. There is a lot of uses of smile. That's one though. Oh damn that damage, hello. Imagine somebody new to Twitch and they just want to smile. 
Is there, any, is there anybody uh, new to Twitch here? And you just want to smile? <laughs> uh... Yes, streamer, of course. Oh, no. Oh, wait. No, I have behind me. Okay, okay. I thought they, like, actually locked me back here. Me, me, see, y'all are just so new. Look, they're just so happy to be here. Look at all these newbies. Y'all are just so cute. Um, I could go past the FOE up there to continue exploring, or I could just go past here. Ignore the three-year badge. <laughs> Ignore the three-year badge smile. Dang. This is Gigapede. Four damage. I, I forget the job of uh, Beta. Uh, it's not Alchemist in this game. I forgot though. <laughs> Oops. Um, something, something. They're very good. Yeah, chat's just so happy. I know that you guys are just so happy. So happy to be here. None of you are new to Twitch. Oh no, not a green chicken. Gonna lower the physical damage. The large bill is now confused. Good. more damage. Oof. Woo! Okay, I killed the green chicken! Yay! Green chicken, no more. I'm already getting super beat up and I'm not far from my tent location. Oh no, and another green chicken. Oh boy. Ow, 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 ow. Everything hurts. No! Oh, I thought 
I died. Oh, <gasps> yay! I did it! All thanks to chat's snake. Thank you, guys. You're saving lives right now. All right. I think I have two tents left, but I would like to keep going as long as I can. Another chicken? Bro. I wasn't getting their spawn before for a while. Now they're back. They're back with a vengeance. Oh boy. Alright, he's dead. He's dead. We did it. <sighs> gaming, 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 gaming. Dude, I wish we could have chicken nuggets out of it. This game and its shortcuts are extremely attractive. I have to admit. Talk! Wait, what do you mean talk? As you walk down the forest path, you find a guard standing in the corner of an expansive hall. The guard nods in response to your hail and raises a hand to acknowledge you. Are you explorers ex investigating the forest? How goes it? Despite his question, the guard continues speaking without waiting for your answer. I've been gathering materials left by from left by monsters for a certain investigation. I found a few, but there are still some I'm missing. I have a proposal. If you have any of what I'm looking for, can you spare some? The guard shifts his gaze to you and to gauge your reaction. Give him materials? Sure. Sharp tooth, a pungent ivy, and a purple scale. What the fuck? I don't think I have any of that. He gives me a small bottle. Oh, I get a Medica for that? I don't think I have the others, though. Sorry, dude. I don't have anything else. Feel free to come back again. Uh, okay. Um, there's a person here. That's all. I'm just gonna mark it with a circle. Jeez, what the fuck is that? Ew! Crush it. Kill it. Burn it. That's nasty looking. It's just like a weird thing to I I don't even know what it is, man. It's something all right though. Okie dokie. We now have skill points to use. I'll do another club mastery cuz that's all I know how to do in life. How about rapier mastery cuz that's again, that's all I know how to do in life. 
Wait, so for swashbuckling, I need gun and rapier mastery to level E. Okay. Normal attacks have a higher probability of being critical. Dude, this is, uh, this is a tree. <laughs> My god. Keep going with rapier mastery, I think. All right. Healing. All right, chat. What would you like now? Apparently, I can now call an insect, but if you guys want more mastery, uh, be soul, dismiss, roar, drums. You vote, you, you vote a status? Which one? Is the Elafulu's doing okay? Let me check. Oh, it actually is. Okay. Okay, I think... Sorry, I just wanted to make sure it was actually good. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's performing decently. It's hard to tell. I only now just uploaded. Okay, anyway. Insect, beast, soul. Oh, you guys are like really split on what I should get here. Yeah, bird. Uh, we have snake that binds the arms. You want call burb? Burb binds the head. I don't know if I'd use it. Insect for dots. Poison is nice. But it's chat's decision, not mine. You guys control this character. Whatever unlocks call ooze. Dude, we're gonna have a lot. I think I need this one at 10 nature pact. Ooze is gonna take a while. <laughs> That's gonna take a fucking long time. Burb, burb. Burb or insect? I think I see more burb. Bird up? Alright, bird up. Next time we can get the bug. Don't worry, guys. Oh, circle. This map design is already infinitely better. Oof. Oh, preemptive attack. Love to see that. All burb. I want to save that for like the really tough fights. Burb, and next time we go insect? Yep, I'll call insect next time. Since you guys were, like, pretty split on it. Where did that FOE go? I know I saw him. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus! Oh, wait, no, this is better. This isn't as bad as I thought. Never mind. Maybe I'll call a bird. Bird up! Amazing. It's looking phallic. <laughs> I wasn't looking at it as such. Oh, geez, this needs to be pretty exact, huh? Oh, Jesus, how do you do that? Oh, no, not bird. I don't want to fight bird. I'm running. Please. Okay. Oh no, I'm out of heals. Uh... I'm fine. I just want to get around this FOE. Okay, we'll just... Another time is fine. As you walk through the forest, you find a girl walking in the hall up ahead. Looking around, she seems to be searching for something. She notices your presence and rushes over. Uh, sorry to bother you. Could I speak with you for just a few moments? The apparent astrologer's blonde hair sways as a torrent of words streams from her mouth. I'm Hipatia, an astrologer with the Murotsumi Guild, and I'm in some real trouble. Agata, a young ninja in the guild, got carried away and went deep into the forest all by herself. The girl massages her temples with her slender fingertips and sighs deeply. I can't find him, and I've looked everywhere. I was hoping maybe you happened to see him? He's an excitable little ball of energy. Have you seen any young ninja like that? No. Where in the world could Agata Ag have gone? The girl's brow furrows, then raises as she addresses you again, her expression bright. Hey, if you don't mind, uh, maybe could you do me a favor? If you happen to see Agata while you're out here, could you tell me where you saw him? Hepatia's blonde hair again sways violently at the intensity of her request. You pause before answering, hesitant to add to your obligations in the labyrinth. You graciously oblige the girl, who finally smiles and joyously expresses her gratitude. In that case, I'll head back to Armor Road. I'll be waiting at the inn. I'm counting on you. Wait, I'm doing the job for her? She's just leaving me? I thought she would at least fucking try. Oh great, I'm blindsided? I, I gotta start running. Jeez, I do everything for people nowadays. Oops. How far can one Zodiac make it solo? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to test that right now. <laughs> Thanks for doing my job later. Yeah, she like gave up. Why don't we like search together? Why am I doing the job for her? Like, bitch, what? Oh no, not a green chicken. Feels like there's an FOE somewhere here. Ah. Haha, -ha, I went in a circle. Is there any sure okay? Where's the FOE? Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh. 
Okay, we are very badly hurt here. I'm gonna keep pushing forward even though I have a thread. I'm just a dumbass. Don't mind me. trying to get the shortcut. The thin branch covers allow you to look up and see a sky thick with stars. You are tempted to gaze at the starry heavens for a while despite other pressing issues. Spend a while stargazing? I feel like I'm gonna get ambushed. No. You cautiously run an eye over your surroundings before leaving. Maybe I'll stargaze later, but I also haven't saved my game in a hot while. I've been down here for a while. I really want to make it to that shortcut. I'm trying so hard to make it. As you walk down the tree-lined narrow path, you spot mushrooms in an out-of-the-way corner. The brown mushrooms growing near the roots on both sides of the path smell and look delicious. The sight of the mushrooms makes your mouth water. You consider picking them for later. So I'm just going to go this way. God! Everything's trying to kill me. Everything's trying to kill me. Please, please, please. Please run. Oh my god. Wait, stairs? Well, you've got to be shitting me. What do you mean, stairs? Inspect. Oh my god. I need to make it out of here. I need to make it out of here. <gasps> the shortcut? The shortcut! Yes. Yes. Okay, go back. I, I unlocked the shortcut. That's all I wanted. Okay, let's go back. <sighs> oh my god. That was nerve-wracking. That was a little bit much. I feel like I barely got any muff- What do you- What do you mean I barely got any money? Down there for so long and I barely got any money. I think I might cry. I'm still a broke ass bitch. I just want to buy more equipment and shit. Man, this game is brutal. I guess I'm staying until morning. That's like all the money I just made. Very cool, thanks game. All right, you have any more quests? I forget what the other one is. I need small flowers to make nectar. Right. Oh boy. I am very poor, yes. Uh, I know I just saved, but I'm doing it again because I'm paranoid that I didn't. I do feel like we're doing pretty good. I haven't got an actual game over yet. Right? So that's a that's a good thing. By this time I, I in the first game I had like several game overs, but now I'm used to the game. I feel like we're doing pretty good.
Labyrinth economy sucks. It really does. I don't have enough money to buy anything. I was so excited. I thought I was coming home with like a really good haul. I was like, oh shit. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't even notice that there was a fucking shortcut there. So it makes it even easier to progress. This game is actually awesome. Oh no, a green chicken. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I just got fucked. Fucking ow! Oh my god! One is giga rough? Dude, I can't believe I started with the hardest one. Does that make me a gamer, though, if I did that? I feel like uh, maybe I get gamer points for that. I don't know. I'm just making shit up to make myself feel better. Wait, what do you mean? Wait. D oh, I mismarked it. I, m I mismarked the shortcut. There it is. Okay. I want to go this way. This is not a good idea. <laughs> oh god, yeah, good thing. What if I didn't escape and then the FOE is just on my ass? I'm too young to deal with an FOE right now. Oh my god, my ass is getting whooped. Yeah, no experience for quests. Dude. And I still liked that shit. That's the amazing part. I still liked Etrian Odyssey 1. Coupon? Wait, really? Huh. Oh god, so many green chickens. Blaming the game for your failure is always fair game. <laughs> That feels so weird. I feel like uh, I shouldn't, it shouldn't be like that. My god. I barely have stepped foot on this second floor and I'm already just like dying. Because these fucking chickens just keep showing up. And they ruin my life. Jeez, should I just go for it? I'm gonna call a bird. I- no way, I shouldn't do that. I, I changed my mind. I'm not gonna fucking call a bird. <clears throat> Two is what sold you on the series? Okay. It's just nice to know that the series gets better and better as you play it. Okay, maybe I should call a bird. Oh, the bird bind actually worked. Fuck. Dang, bird immediately gets out here and does work. He bound the other guy too. What a gamer! 
Oh, Beta died. Didn't need that guy. We didn't we didn't need him. Shit. There's like a secret back there. Um, okay, so I have a dead guy. Here's a nectar. This seems like a really bad use of nectar, but sure. Yep, that was a really bad use of it. will take a hard pass on that shit. Oh, I really need to fight. If I don't fight, I don't gain experience and I don't gain any money either. <laughs> feel like I need to call your bird. Go shock. Go shock. Go gig gig gig. Oh my god, the bird is actually so good though. The bird is carrying. I don't know how, but the bird is carrying. wander through the, uh, as you wander the winding paths past the door and you find a clearing devoid of trees. The sunlight pouring in from above warms the clearing, making it a haven within the labyrinth. In the hall center are the same mushrooms that were growing on the side of the path before. There is nothing barring your way from picking one of the mushrooms, should you choose. I could go for some shrooms. As you crouch and reach for the mushroom, it suddenly starts to move as if it's alive. What? What has appeared to be a small mushroom is revealed as a fungus-shaped monster! If you don't want to become a meal for the mushroom, draw your weapons and strike it down. Okay. It's a venom shroom. Great. That's lovely. I can't even summon my bird. My bird was the team carry. I am useless. Oh, jeez, the poison. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. Fucking fuck. I got to blow everything. <sighs> I need, like, an encampment right now. You like T01? Congrats. Now you can say you like a game with Ringo in it. Excited for you to like E02 and say you like a game where Teddy makes no bear puns. E0 is healing us. Thanks for the hundred. You reach for one of the mushrooms and inspect it carefully, but you detect no danger. I could die. I don't. Chat, do I eat it? You tell me. Do I eat it? I could die. Like, if this is a fight, I'm very, very weak right now. Nah, always. Please don't eat random mushrooms in the wild. Eat 
50-50. I'm eating it. Oh. <laughs> I did it. Suck it, bitch. I can last a little bit longer now. There, that's all of the healing I have left. Oh god. Please, somebody run. Anybody run. Please, run. Run! Jesus! <sighs> My god. How? I'm not making any money! <sighs> he didn't book. Oh, these are special. I can put something to sleep with a book. Or a stun blade. I wish they sold for more. <laughs> yes, we're still the bitches. <sighs> I'm exhausted. The worst part is I have to go buy a thread, so I I still I'm, I'm not gonna have any money. Purchase the goods at a discount? Why would I say no? Oh, <gasps> it's fifty instead of a hundred. Unable to make multiple purchases since you're using a coupon. Oh, it only works once. Oh, I can buy anything at just half. Pr oh. Oh, then no, don't use it if it's only one time use. Fuck that. I'm so stressed. I'm so stressed. <laughs> I want to set sail. This gives you money. I, I make money from this guy. The lighthouse has stood there for ages. It's majestic bearing, bearing, uh, always visible. You may visit the lighthouse or simply go on your way. I can't make it. I'm out of provisions. You need more money? Oh, sh yeah, no. Have you heard of the Scandalia lighthouse? Before the calamity, it was a beacon of commerce. Ever since, its light has been extinguished by a bird monster nesting there that attacks ships. So not only are sailors forced to go without its light, we can't even get close enough to repair it. But maybe it has a blind spot, so to speak. Would you guys be capable of finding a safe route there? The marines on a small island to the north have a stock of dried peas that they could share with you. With those, you could sail further. If you can get to the beacon, we can dispatch combat engineers. This is a crucial part of restoring Armor Road. I wish you the greatest success. I got 46 months. <laughs> it was a little obvious. That's okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going, I'm going out, set and sail. There's an FOE out in the water, and that's terrifying. Oh, there's like currents, so it, you can travel farther. Can I mark my map? Like right here, it's a it's a current. Oh, there's a big skull too. Oh boy. And then, and then right here, it's like, like that.
Wait, this... And then this is, this is like land. I'm marking my map in the water. That's so cool. Oh, I gained 70! So I profit, net profit 60, because it I spend 10 to go out there. Oh yeah. This game is very nerve-wracking. <laughs> Wind Waker edition. That would be cool. Alright, do I really have to go back down? Did I buy a thread? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Alright, I'll save my game. And let's, let's head out. To the third floor. Yeah, I do need... I don't want to spend my skill points on the crops, but man, I really should. It's just early game, so I want other skills, but I know I should invest in other stuff. Why? Why, game? At least these fights are going better. The auto battle. So clearly I am getting stronger. Speaking of, did I level any time? Okay, no. Ugh. If I have a sixth party member, what about summoning my bird? I actually don't know how that works. <clears throat> you missed the airship from four. Aww. Airships in Final Fantasy games are the best. Don't at me. They're just so satisfying. Also, I feel like I'm missing something in the map. I'm definitely missing part of this map. I'll investigate later. It doesn't matter. Holy! Oh my god, this game! Trying to murder me! Bird up. Bird. Ow, 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 ow. I'm dying. I'm dying. Fuck. My bird. Resurrect. Okay. Ah! Everything is killing me. That was after one battle. I just got that fucked after a singular battle. I'm not even at the third floor yet. Hello, third floor. Hi, it's me. Love shortcuts. Oh boy, here we go. I'm like really nervous because last time we observed, last time we went to a new floor, I experienced a green chicken. Now I'm at a new floor and I feel like my life is going to get very hard over some new enemy. Oh, great. FOEs. G 
Just as you were about to cross the hall, a dreadful presence suddenly appears before you. The monster seems to be highly territorial and appears to view you as trespassers. It'd be wise to do everything in your power to avoid the beast if you hope to leave this room. The piercingly, menacingly feeling you sense, even at this distance, is proof enough of that. The survival now hangs on your skill at watching your enemy's movement in order to avoid him. That's the... Uh, yep. Oh, jeez! Uh, that's a new guy. Kill the new guy. Very oof. Especially with the shell guard, though. <laughs> oh, cool. There's a little bridge to cross the little river. Absolutely adorable. Jeez, another one. At least I know I can handle the frogs. He's like waving with his claw. <laughs> He's cute. I do want to try to go as far as I can. Oh god, these are all dead ends. I have to go in the FOE room? Oh jeez. Not forward. Okay, I got out. I got out. Mm. Oh, geez. I pissed it off. Um, but I found a door, so I'm just gonna go through the door. Our first mining spot. We are not looking so good, guys. I could use a, a tent spot. Another door. Oh my god, just whenever I was asking for one, this game just fucking delivers. Let's go. Or maybe this is a just a regular blue spot. Do I want to waste a tent? I still have some juice left in me. That sounds weird, but I do. It's 
It's just nice to know where we have access to one. Oh, it's that spotted frog. I'll call the bird. Ooh, beta, don't die! Jesus. Elastic tongue? Ugh, that's so nasty. No thanks. I feel like I'm getting very far away from my camp and I shouldn't get too far away from my camp. Yeah, we should go back and use the camp. And then I'll feel better about moving forward. Oh god. Oh jeez. No, 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 no! Please, no! <laughs> better make it blue, we don't want to rest in piss. No, we're not- oh my god, we're not- no, no. <laughs> No! All right, I have successfully rested. A part of me really wants to like finish drawing out this absurdly large map. I gotta paint the town, man. All right, I painted the town. Preemptive attack? Hmm, maybe I will. Just because it's preemptive. Gotta take advantage, man. Oh god, the poison. Brutal. Wait, 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 wait. I think I now have a uh, line heal. I can get a line heal. That's 11, though. Jeez, why is healing so expensive? Sheesh. Oh, my God. Well, I guess line heal is 10, healing is 7. So this is more worth it. Just yikes. I gotta be careful. <clears throat> All right, we progress. Oh, monsters I can beat up. Oh, you bitches with the poison. You, why? Why? 
Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. That was so risky. Okay, everybody now has another skill point. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's three bird summons, so no more of that. All right, let's go, let's go. I gotta move, man. Let's let's go the other way. Inspect. You find a large purplish flower that commands your attention. Its appearance is strange and a little sinister, but you think you can approach it with care? Yes. As you cautiously approach the flower, its gigantic petals sway despite the still air. Before you can withdraw, it opens and scatters pollen everywhere as if it had sneezed. Oddly, however, you sense no adverse reactions. If anything, you feel better overall. I got 30 HP and 10 TP. Your footsteps lighter for having inhaled the pollen. Whoa! That's awesome. Didn't expect that one. Oh. Hi, Yusako! Today's gonna be a good day. Oh, that's very sweet. Well, I certainly hope today's a good day for you. The poison, the poison, why? It's nighttime. There's an FOE. Boop! Boop! I don't know what I'm doing. Because I don't see a way out of here. All I see is a chest. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Please run. Please, 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 please. Oh, my God. <sighs> Go back. I don't see, like, in the corner. There's got to be somewhere to go. Uh-oh. Oh, there is a door here! Oh, thank God, because I was about to, like, get fucking... If there was no door here, I'd be dead right now. Talk about... Close one. Oh, it's a preemptive attack. Should I just go for it? Oh god, Crystal, this is how you die. If you go for it, you're gonna die. Just call the bird, and it'll be okay. The bird is the savior. is doing work. auto battle, but I'm a little bit nervous to do so. Oh, 
Oh, we dodging thanks to the bird doing shit. Oh my god. Gaming. Oh my god. Oh. Shortcut acquired. It feels so good. Oh my god. I can't believe we actually managed to find a shortcut. Should I call Bird again? Nah. I think we're fine. We don't need Bird. the poison. I keep looking at the limit gauge that's underneath every character as a boost gauge, which fucks me up. I keep thinking it's a boost and it makes me want to use it as such, but it's not the same. killed me. No. I cry. Well, a good thing is... Okay, the good news is we just unlocked a shortcut. The bad news is I'm fucking dead and that sucks. You are about to open the door before you when a figure suddenly appears to bar your way. The one you su who surprised you is a boy clad in ninja garb an eager smile on his face. Yeah! Finally found someone! Hey, you guys must be explorers if you're down here, right? You're a bit taken aback and not quite sure how to answer the boy's carefree, earnest question. Tell him you're explorers? Sure. You tell him that you are indeed explorers, to which he snaps his fingers excitedly. Honestly, guys, I'm kind of in some trouble. You know the things on this floor that chase you? I dodged him so far, but the one in the room ahead just doesn't let up. I can't get past it. So I gotta ask you, can you find a way to avoid the monster and teach me how it's done? You're still not quite sure what to make of the boy or whether to honor his request. Uh, sure? A wide smile spreads over the boy's face. Thanks, that'll be a big help. I'll be close behind you, so just lead the way. The boy takes up his position behind you and uh, you're ready to follow you as you dodge the monster in the next room. Um, I was gonna head back home. So this is awkward. I, w I wasn't going to go into the door. I was going to use a thread. Because I'm fucking dead. Oh, <gasps> that rhymed! Maybe I'll just, like, run until I can't run anymore. And then I'll thread out whenever I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Wait, the FOE can cross? Bro, that's not fair. So this is like that. I just want to kind of, kind of map it out, you know. He crosses the river. Hi, Nico. Oh, <laughs> thanks, fam. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> I appreciate it. I uh, I did grind a little bit off stream, not too much, but I think enough to where I was actually. Oh, oh, fuck! I grinded enough, so it wasn't too big of a. Oh, 
too big of a problem. Oh god, ow. Ow! I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. I feel like I almost had it. Like, you gotta, like, chase him. You gotta, like, use the corner to get him around. Yeah, we got it. Oh my god, I did it. Gaming, gaming! They do the teleports behind you stuff now? I... I don't... I don't think so? Or maybe they do when I missed it, but yeah. Okay, I, I made it! After shaking off the monster that had pursued you and catching your breath, the boy pipes up. Well, thanks! I never thought I never have done that on my own. Looks like I was ready to trust you. The boy falls silent, peers at you, and then slaps his forehead and continues. I didn't introduce myself, huh? My name's Agata. I'm the ninja leader of the Muratsumi Guild. You recall hearing the boy's name some time ago in a previous conversation. The girl calling herself Hipachia said that she was searching for a boy by this name. It might be best to tell this boy that Hibachia was looking for him. Sure. Hibachia was looking for me? Seriously? Man, she's hopeless. Okay, I'll head back to the city in a bit. If you get there first, can you tell her I'm coming? See ya! Bye, dude. Now I feel like I've gotten so far that I, um... I feel like I have to continue. I know I don't have to. But I feel like I- OH MY GOD! <sighs> I found stairs? You've got to be kidding me! No! I wasn't looking for stairs, I was looking for a goddamn shortcut! Yeah, I did skip two, just because I don't think I want to stream all of the games. I want to play them, but I don't think I'll stream them all. So I just kind of skipped the three because I also don't have time. <laughs> I'm trying to beat the game before Final Fantasy 16. So I'm like, oh boy, I think I, I think I can't play two on stream. But still, I'm going to play it just in my in my off time. Whenever I can find it. Oh my God. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running. Oh my god, I'm dead. No, 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 come on. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> I'm playing with fire right now, thanks. <sighs> oh, did you actually play the demo? I haven't got a chance to myself yet, but I don't think I'm going to just because I don't want to get too addicted to the game and and then be forced to wait a week to play the full game. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be really good, so I kind of don't want to play it yet. I'm like, you know what? I'll just wait for the full release so I don't get too addicted. Yeah, that's about where I'm at. But uh, all I've seen on Twitter is people raving about it. Wait, so this is just an empty room with nothing in it. Okay, great. I love that. I am... I am dumb. That is, that's what I am right now. It's the best demo you've ever played. Dang, that's high praise. Shit. Preemptive attack. Oh, thank God. And I didn't flee. Okay, but I did there. Okay. <sighs> no, 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 But needless to say, I'm extremely excited about Final Fantasy 16, and I'm just avoiding the trailer right now. But I'm very envious of everybody. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Few hours of the first part of the game? That's actually a lot. Shit. That's impressive. That's a big ass demo. Like, I knew Final Fantasy 16 was going to be good just because I have, like, endless faith in, um, Yoshi P. But damn, <laughs> it seems to be blowing even my expectations out of the water based on this demo. I just hope the game keeps up, you know? That's all I hope for. I get, like, no money. Oh my god. Oh, I got a gun! Oh! I have no money, though. <laughs> the struggle. Accept quests. Uh, a member of the Pale Whores. My comrades went into the forest a week ago and haven't come back. Oh, that sucks. You're accepting? I only put that up a moment ago. Uh, Pale Whores Guild went in about a week ago and never returned. They're probably dead. Uh... They split up on basement, the, the second floor, so it may be good for you to meet them there, too. Oh, boy. Man versus nature. Armored farming committee? <laughs> You're accepting this request? This one comes from Armored Road's farming committee. Trying to develop a vegetable both tasty and resistant to the salty air. They are called farmers from far and wide to discuss the issues. Are you having any farmers in your guild? No. I, I don't have any farmers. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. The momentum to just like keep going to the end. Crossing my fingers. That would, Cause I'll be honest, that's what I was initially worried about with Breath of the Wild. Not Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. Just finished that game yesterday and I was like so impressed that the pace kept up to the end of the game. Like I was just finishing the game and I'm like, oh, you know, this game can't impress me anymore. I probably have seen everything. And then it did and I was so amazed. God, it was so freaking good. Oh, oh. It just like kept delivering. Oh, right, the girl. I hate to nag, but have you seen Agatha anywhere? Tell her that you found Agatha. Thanks for all your help. Can you give me like a fuck ton of experience? Oh. <laughs> I get nothing for helping you? <laughs> Why? I feel like I just got like slapped across the face. It's okay, it's okay. You're a quarter of the way through Tears of the Kingdom. Enjoy the ride, Nico. I can't wait to watch your playthrough, man. The artwork is very, very cute in this game. It's absolutely adorable. All right, I think that's actually a good place to stop. I'm like pretty satisfied with the progress that we've had. I might just finish up these quests that I have open off stream uh, for tomorrow. Might grind a little bit so that they go a little bit faster and smoother. Might do that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And Edge Odyssey 3 is by far and large so much better. So much better than Edge Odyssey 1. Holy crap. I'm glad I started with 1 though to experience 3 and like see the difference and like the growth in the franchise. But holy hell, this is already a. <sighs> I cannot express how much better this is.